Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Season 3, Episode 4 of Daredevil called Blindsided. So we start off with the Fed search the penthouse, then Matt goes home, uh, puts on suit, and walks out without the cane. So he actually shows up at his apartment, changes his clothes, and walks out without the cane and without sunglasses out like he can see. Which he kind of can see, but not really. But anyway. And Foggy is passing out to his girlfriend, and then she says to go to on the offense and tells him to run for district attorney, but do it as a write-in. So he really considers that, and he decides that he'll do it. Then he realizes that his wallet is um, missing, and that um, <laughs> that Matt stole it, I think. <laughs> and uh, then we have Matt's at prison, and he's posing as Foggy, and he talks to the guy, and then wants info on the Albanians. And so what he does, he um, he freaks out. And he's like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. But you can hear him lying with his heartbeat. So, um, the guy punches Matt. And, um, so this guard comes up and says he has to fill out this report. And then, uh, we cut to where the wife brings food and clothes. And his kid is scared of him. But he's going to be staying at her sister's. Uh, this is the um, FBI guy. And then we cut to where Karen is working on the story at the Red Lion. Uh, working on the story Red Lion. And then Foggy stops by and tells her about Matt. And she is very pissed off. <laughs> and then we cut to where Matt got attacked. And basically um, the doctor try to off him so he KO'd the doctor. Then Fisk talk, calls him and he knows about everything. But he's mainly pissed about Vanessa and um, and then says like, like, you know, something shady, whatever. Then hangs up. Then it's him versus the inmates. And they have all the fight scenes on the planet and they were all amazing. And, but my only thing is, the chem work was not that great. Like, I'm pretty sure they did this in one take. But I just, like, they tried to get all up in there, like they did with Era back in Season 6, which I wasn't happy about. But, um, I know a different show, but whatever. And different comic books. But anyway, it's the same type of format they did, where they tried to get it all up in there. But I was like, that wasn't cutting it for me. But anyway... Then it's versus the police guards, and he beats them. <laughs> then he talks to the Albanians, and then we find out that Fisk set himself up to get out. So basically, he was the one that hired the guy to um, to hurt him, and for and that got him out of jail. And got the name Jasper Evans. And they have another fight scene, and then he got out. Then the feds check on Fisk's food by eating some of it. And then we have the guy talks to Poindexter and warns him. The FBI guy, I think, Adir, I want to say. I'm probably saying that wrong. Sorry. Uh, basically just warns him that they're going to try to use him as bait. Or like as, um, you know, they're just going to roast him or whatever like the papers are. And then we cut to where Foggy uh, talks to the detective and then talks to the cops and it works. So he was trying to build support from um, basically saying that this could be, should be put back in jail. And he talks to the cops and the detectives at the precinct and he's saying that he's running for office. And they all actually listen to him and he gives his speech. And then we cut to where uh, Karen talks to the guy slash threatens him. So the guy talks to the girl about the his kid. Nadir talks to I think his um uh the uh, Nadir was talking to his supervisor about his kid. The supervisor says to lie to him and that'll kind of make it better. And she went to a similar instance with um her dad because he drove a bunch of uh hazardous chemicals every day, but he never said that to her. Then we cut to where Karen talks to the woman and gives the name Felix Manning. And then we cut to where Poindexter watches interview with Fisk. 
then fists cover for him and stares at the camera. He cuts the camera, talks to him, basically fusses him out, and then leaves, and then turns on the cameras back on. Then Matt wakes up in a car, and um, basically it goes in the water with him in it. So the driver jumped out, and he got, yeah. So that was the whole thing. And that was the end of the episode. Um, crazy, crazy episode. I gave it a strong A. Um, I thought it was really, really good. I enjoyed all the fight scenes for the camera work. That's the only reason why I did not get a plus for me was the kind of that part. Did not enjoy that a lot. But other than that, I really, really enjoyed the episode. I thought it was really good and very informative about what's going to be happening from the next few episodes. So anyway, really enjoyed the episode. I really, really, really did. I gotta think of more adjectives to say. <laughs> it was very intriguing and interesting. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off topic. So anyway, that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of episode.